So we are here at the Buddh International Circuit to test out the latest Yamaha motorcycle that's been launched in India, which is this, the all-new MT-15. Now, the MT-15 is really similar to the R-15, but it approaches things a little bit differently. But if the R-15 is anything to go by, this should be an exciting motorcycle to ride. So without wasting any more time, let's head on to the track to find out more. So let's start with the way this motorcycle looks and boy does it look great. The MT-15 follows the unmistakable design language of a sporty street fighter motorcycle with a compact headlamp unit, a short stubby tail and a muscular fuel tank. The highlight of course is the LED headlamp unit that gives the motorcycle an angry face that will be instantly recognizable wherever you see it. Then the high-rise fuel tank is complemented by the tank shrouds and the radiator fins which make it look butch. I also really like the way the short tail looks with the neatly integrated LED tail lights and with the tail tidy in place, it should look even better. The wheels come with highlights on the rims that look fantastic but I do miss the contrasting rims that the international model gets as that would have really hit it out of the park. Also, you have to give it to Yamaha for giving a neatly designed rear grab rail as it does not look out of place. Another thing that we appreciate is the LCD instrument cluster that's easy to read and has decent visibility as well. And now that we have seen the motorcycle up close, it's time to find out how it rides and on that front, it has borrowed the R15's biggest weapon. Now one of the things that I really liked in the R15 version 3 was the engine on board that came with variable valve actuation system that made it so much more enjoyable. Now the same engine has been carried over to the MT15 but this time around it's in a different state of tune. So what has happened is that it has traded a little bit of top speed for better mid-range acceleration. Oh and speaking of the Yamaha R15, well we did test it last year and were left thoroughly impressed with its racetrack potential but what it lacked was an ABS system. But now Yamaha is offering dual channel ABS on the R15 and we tested that too and the R15 now feels a lot more complete. And speaking of ABS, well, the MT-15 does get it, but it is only a single-channel ABS system. And also, it does not have the option of Metzeler tyres that the R15 gets. And there's no sportier exhaust option either for the MT-15. Thankfully, the fantastic 155cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder engine is still there. It's still one of the best 150cc engines out there and since the MT-15 gets a bigger sprocket, it feels a bit more quicker through the gears at lower RPMs. The slip and assist clutch further helps with the lighter feeling clutch and allows for aggressive downshifts too. The biggest difference is in the riding posture. The seat height of the MT-15 is lower than the R15 and the rake and trail has been altered for better agility. As a result, the bike feels a lot more comfortable for everyday riding conditions and it feels very responsive for those quick turn-ins. Having said that, the motorcycle still has great mid-corner stability even if it's a bit keen on leaning into it in the first place. As for the suspension, it felt plush on the smooth surface of the Buddha International Circuit but we will have to test it out on the open roads because, let's be honest, most of you out there will ride the MT-15 on city roads and highways and if the first impressions are anything to go by, it is definitely an exciting motorcycle. The big problem with it, however, is not the motorcycle itself. It is the price that it comes at. At an ex showroom price of Rs 1.36 lakh, it is not aggressively priced in any way and the biggest question you would have to ask yourself is whether to spend Rs 3000 rupees more and get the dual channel equipped and full fed R15 version 3. And if it is a street naked that you are looking for, then there is also the Yamaha FZ25 which is a lot cheaper than the MT15. So to sum up my experience with the all-new MT-15, well, I didn't have a lot of time to spend with it, but it was enough to tell me that this is a properly exciting motorcycle to ride. Yes, I'm not too sure about the kind of pricing that this one is coming at, so if budget is not a problem for you and you want a motorcycle with a bit of sportiness in it, then this one is actually a good buy.